Yes, that is the Calsonic Skyline GTS R R31. It is on the bench here at the garage. It is one of the, one of the other projects that is on the bench here. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome into the garage. Glad you're here. So over on the scale International Scale Modelers Facebook page and their forum, they're doing a touring car build off. I said, hey, that sounds like a great idea. I'm going to join in. So I'm going to partake in that build off, and this is what I chose: the Calsonic Skyline. The newest, the new kit from Nasagawa. I have James I have uh, scale finishes mixing me up the Calsonic Blue, which isn't, isn't really technically Calsonic Blue from my understanding. It's a Nissan Blue that has been used for Calsonic Blue, I think. Anyways, so as soon as that gets him from, as soon as he gets that to me, I can get started painting the body. But I'm actually only going to be using that paint from him on the body. Everything else, I'm going to be using. To me, it's TS44, which is brilliant blue. Pretty much everything on this kit has to be painted blue. And because of the type of paint scale finishes is, the base coat, everything's going to have to be need to be clear coated. And I don't want to have to go through all that extra trouble paint and then clear coat everything. So I'm just going to focus. I'm just going to use the scale finishes paint on the body. And everything else will be, to me, as paint. Yeah, it probably isn't going to match 100%. You know, I'm not overly concerned about that. Again, it's it's you know, it's a race car. It doesn't need to necessarily match 100%. So I'm not 100% concerned about it. Uh, so other than that, that's where I'm at. I haven't even gotten started on it yet, and I believe it ends sometime in the end of the. I believe it goes through August. I I hope. I'm with the double check. So I got to get started on it. So I'm gonna try to give you enough videos. I'm gonna do enough video for it. To kind of give you an idea how it builds up. I'm not going to promise anything because I got two build videos I'm doing for some of you, and I don't like necessarily doing them, is what I said. So this could be interesting to see how well I do. So I'm not going to promise much, but I'll give you guys something, I hope. So that is what is going on here at the bench. Uh, I'm going to get to work and I'll have an update for you guys soon on this one. As you can see, some progress has been had, has been made. Body is in primer. Uh, my next step will be removing some of the bold and seam lines. There's not a whole lot on the body. It's pretty cl uh, pretty clean tooling, uh, as we would expect from a new tool, from a new tooling. The only ones I really so far I found there's a couple around the door, up on the top by the roof line. Uh, I think there's a couple little lines on the uh, A pillars, by the A pillar and the C pillar. But overall, this is a pretty clean body. Like I said, tooling. Uh, which again we expect if we would expect that from a new tool. So minimal cleanup is I guess what I'm trying to say. Paint did arrive. It arrived uh, yesterday. Calsonic blue. It is a little bit on the lighter side. It looks like to be in the bottle. I'm gonna do a spoon test here to figure things out. Uh, this may have wrecked my plan to, to use mix and match, use TS44 and that. Uh, so again, I'm going to be doing some, some, some spoon tests to see how far off everything is. Uh, da, da, da. But again, I believe TS44, or I'm sorry, Calsonic Blue is a lot is a little bit lighter blue in person, and we've only seen photographs and stuff. I've only seen photographs of the color. It looks to be a lot, a little bit darker. But some photos I have seen it shows it to be a little bit lighter of a blue. So, I think TS44 is very close, but I think it might just be a tad too bit dark maybe I don't know I've never seen what, what supposedly is calsonic blue with my own two eyes so again I'm just going off of all the photographs and we all know how photographs can be deceiving unless the pho photographer does every, makes every, does everything he possibly can colors are usually off by a couple of hues in either direction they're either too light or too dark it's very I mean it can go either way so sometimes we don't know what you know, it's usually within the ballpark, obviously. So, some spoon, some spoon tests are going to be are going to be taking place. Figure out what my next course of action is. Um, either way, I just bought a new can of TS44, brilliant blue for this project and other Calsonic projects. So, could be interesting. I have made some other progress. Other parts have been painted. I uh, did a lot of uh, painted all the parts that needed to be painted black and some parts that needed to be painted silver. And whatnot. Uh, worked on the brakes, the brakes, brakes painted. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. There's some 
there are some pieces missing. I don't know where they went. I think they're inside the container. Well, I hope that's where they went. So that is, yeah, really, where did they go? I am missing a few pieces. I think they're inside the container. Uh, I, masked, I used the, ma the masks that they provided for the wheels, and these were really a pain in the rear end to get on there. They don't stick very well. Uh, you can press down all you want, but they just move and they don't stick very well. So it's going to be very interesting to see how well they work. So i got to paint that the center area of the wheels gold. So I'll be airbrushing those and see how well those masks work. I'm now holding my breath that they're going to work very well. So I think some cleanup is going to be in the future on these wheels. So I'm going to hope for the best. So that is that, folks. Uh, I'm going to get back to work and get... Keep working on this one. Uh, da, da, da. Until the next update.